Let me tell you about a puzzling discovery. In 2001, as scientists were studying the newly sequenced human genome, they noticed something odd. Half of the genome seemed to be made up of the same repeating sequence. The reason behind this is a mysterious type of gene that has been working silently for billions of years. You see, transposons are genes that can move around in our genome. It's kind of like genetic airdrop. Sometimes, when I'm bored at school or at the airport, I'll choose photos to airdrop to random people. The photo I choose is duplicated and sent over to the other person. In the same way, transposons can duplicate their DNA and insert their copy into a random genetic location. There are now two copies that can both replicate, resulting in duplicate sequences in our genome over time. Mystery solved. But just like airdrop which only works if the two people are physically close together, transposons usually only duplicate inside of a cell. But what would happen if a transposon somehow reached another cell? Well, this actually happened 1.5 billion years ago, and it's how scientists think a type of virus was created. Retroviruses like HIV and herpes are unique. Because they have the same enzymes used by transposons, these viruses can insert their genes into our genome. Unlike other viruses, retroviral genes remain in our bodies even after we get better, and after many retroviral infections over the years, we have thousands of viral genes in our genome. Scarily, the process of inserting their genes can cause mutations that can make cells cancerous. But retroviruses may not be all bad. If they can insert their genes into our genome, why not use them to insert genes we actually want? After making them safe for humans, scientists modify retroviruses by inserting the desired gene. This can help in diseases like type 1 diabetes, for example, where those afflicted can no longer produce the vital hormone insulin. By delivering a viral vector containing the insulin gene, patients were successfully able to produce insulin. Viral vectors, or modified viruses, are promising therapeutics in treating diseases like cancer, heart disease, and dementia, and they will lead to many breakthroughs in healthcare. Oh, and also the next time someone tries airdropping you a photo, be careful, it might be a virus. Thanks for watching.